of the Pleasant Hill in and out had to close its doors because they were not checking vaccination statuses. KPX 5's Justin Andrews is live in Pleasant Hill. Justin, what are you seeing out there today? Lynn, I can show you better than I can tell you. Take a look. You see this line of cars wrapped around this drive through here at this in and out in Pleasant Hill. A couple hours ago, though, if we can pan a little bit to the left, a couple hours ago, I spotted health officials meeting with employees inside this restaurant as they were trying, as we were trying to get video. The district manager ran out telling us they are indeed open. Obviously, they are, but not for dine-in. Wednesday morning, workers at this in and out in Pleasant Hill were now back on the job, getting things ready for carry out and drive through orders only. Isaiah Orduna and his friend found out and decided to come and check things out. Just hearing that and how they don't want to enforce it, I mean, it kind of sucks that we can't get our own okay. big burgers and stuff like that. The burger business was shut down yesterday after Contra Costa County health leaders say it violated several repeated health orders. They should have followed suit, but that's just my personal opinion, okay. you know, just so that I can get my food. Health officials tell KPIX workers were not checking the vaccine status of customers eating inside as required. They say this location had already been fined multiple times, so violations totaled more than $1,700, and the county pulled the chain's permit. We're also uncovering that two other locations in Pinole and San Ramon were hit with fines, too. I don't know their reasoning behind it. We reached out to in and out again to see if the company would give us any new statement today. They have not gotten back with us. Yesterday, though, they sent us this saying, quote, we fiercely disagree with any government dictate that forces a private company to discriminate against customers who choose to patronize their business. This is a clear governmental outreach and is intrusive, improper and offensive, end quote. Now, the company can appeal some of these fines and also these violations. We reached out to the company. We haven't heard back on what they will do. We're live in Pleasant Hill this afternoon. I'm Justin Andrews, KPIX 5.